Okay, this is going to be the first of uh, a series of videos. Um, this video is going to be talking about tow, tow in, tow out, uh, front and rear of the vehicle, uh, the effect it has um, on the handling of the, of the uh, buggy, truck, uh, whatever you're going to be racing out uh, on the track. This is going to be for off-road. Um, I've been doing this about 20 years and basically all off-road is my experience. Um, I see a lot on the, the uh, internet, uh, lots and lots of information on geometry, uh, but most of it is stuff that I found that has been written down, um, written format, um, and for me personally, I'm the type of person that needs to see things uh, live, I need to see pictures, things like that to really, to, to really grasp the concepts um, that I'm gonna, about to talk about. So. Um, I'm just going to hit the basics. We're not going to get too deep into, um, you know, the, the physics of things. Uh, this is more just to help to, to, in a simple way, learn some of the geometry changes you can make to an RC chassis uh, and the effect that it has. Um, there's just so much information that's written down, and it, it kind of gets convoluted and and just really, really confusing. Um, by you know trying to read it, uh, I seem to, to to have a lot easier time actually seeing things. So uh, hopefully that's the, that's going to be the effect of this video. This is going to be something that'll hopefully help some of you guys out there um, learn to tune your chassis uh, in a simple way, and to be able to to make a change and have the effect be what you're what you're looking for. So again, we're going to talk about tow. We'll start with the front of the vehicle. Um, first, we'll just do the simple um, terms. <clears throat> There's going to be toe in, toe out, and zero toe. Okay. First of all, toe in would be when the front of the wheels are pointed in. Uh, obviously, this is really extreme, but this is just to show you what we're talking about. So toe in, zero toe, and then of course toe out. Okay. Um, good starting point is of course zero toe zero toe being when the front and the rear of your tire are pointing pretty much straight forward um, the front and the rear of the tire are exactly the same measurement um, toe in would be when the front of the wheel has a shorter measurement than the rear of the wheel uh, when I say when I say measurement, I mean from right to left wheel on the front. The front of the wheel will have a shorter measurement than the rear of the wheel, and then of course toe out being just the opposite. The rear of the wheel is closer from left to right than the front. So, what effect does it have? Starting with toe in, the effect of toe in going down the straight will cause the car to be more locked in. Since your wheels are pointed in, what that does is the frictional forces of the track will tend to push toward the center of the vehicle. And what that does is it locks the chassis in to keep it going straight, giving it more stability. Okay, because you're, 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 you've got more forces pointing toward the center of the chassis almost like it's crushing the chassis in on itself. So it locks it in so it doesn't want to wander. It makes it very stable on the straights. Going into the corner, what happens with toe in, you're actually going to get more steering entering the corner and you'll have less steering exiting the corner. Why is that? Well, as you're entering the corner, obviously, let's say we're taking a left-hand turn. What happens is, as the vehicle comes around the turn, the outer wheel is going to do 70% to 80% of the turning. The reason that is, is because the weight of the chassis shifts toward the outside. So as the weight shifts, as you're turning this way, all of the weight is being put, I should say the majority of the weight is being put on this wheel. So this wheel is doing most of the turning. So when you're towed in, when you put the weight on that, that's why you get more steering on corner entry because that's where all the weight is. So you get a really good 
bite going into the corner. And of course, as you go around the corner, as you start to straighten out going to exit, the weight goes back toward the center. And when you're accelerating, obviously the weight's coming back off that wheel. So you'll have less exit cornering. So the opposite would of course be true for toe out. Toe out, when you're going down the straight, since you have your toe, your wheels pointed out, what's happening is obviously the frictional forces of the track are trying to pull the right of the vehicle toward the right, the left of the vehicle toward the left. So you almost have a split effect where there's forces pulling the center of the chassis out. So it makes it really loose. And what can happen is if the weight shifts to the left, the vehicle wants to pull left. If the weight shifts to the right, the vehicle wants to pull right. So you get kind of a wandery feeling going down the straight. And what that does is it makes the car really lively. It makes it real twitchy. Okay. But where you really feel the pronounced effect is going into the corner. Okay. So with toe in, you had more steering going into the corner. Well, toe out, it's just the opposite. You have less steering entering the corner, but then you get more steering exiting the corner. And again, the reason for that being, as the wheels are pointed out, as you enter the corner, going into the corner, obviously the weight, again, let's take a left-hand turn, obviously the weight's going to shift toward the right of the chassis, and because that wheel is going to be doing most of the cornering, it's towed out. So you're going to get less steering going into the corner. And then as you exit the corner and the vehicle starts to settle toward the center again, the inner wheel starts to do more and more steering. And then a corner, corner exit, now you've got more of the weight toward the center. Your inner wheel will pick up the steering. So you'll have more steering on the exit of the corner. So toe in, more corner entry, steering, less exit steering. Toe out, just the opposite, less corner entry steering, more corner exit steering. Zero toe is basically the neutral of the two. Okay, if you have zero toe, you're gonna have a real neutral feeling chassis going down the straight, fairly stable, not real twitchy, but not as locked in as if you had toe in. Okay, going into the corner, you have a neutral steering entering the corner, coming out of the corner, again, another neutral feel exiting the corner. So it's basically the balance of the two, right? So, really what toe does is it it's that it's that adjustment that gives you that just right feeling and steering it's one of those things where i actually will tune my my steering using toe in first if i if i want to change the way the car steers uh, toe in is the first toe in or toe out or zero toe that's the first adjustment i'll do because that gives you that that subtle change in steering to make it feel you know just right uh, obviously if i'm not getting as much entry steering as i want you know i'll give it a little bit of toe in if i'm not getting as much exit as i want i'll get a little bit of more toe out um, so you're kind of given a you know um, adjustment entry exit wherever you need it so that would be your toe for the front of the vehicle now it's going to the rear <clears throat> toe in is going to be the majority of the adjustments you're going to do. Uh, zero toe and toe out, that just makes the rear way too unpredictable. Um, so more or less, we're going to be talking about degrees of toe in. Um, four degrees, three degrees, two degrees, one degree, um, pretty much is where your range is going to be. Zero toe and toe out are just adjustments we're not going to use on off-road. Um, for the rear, toe in, again, the more toe in you have, the more stable the rear becomes. Um, but the more toe in you use in the rear, the less rotation you're going to get in the corner, the more locked in the rear is going to be. So if you're using, let's say, a negative four degrees of toe, or I should say a four degrees of toe in um, versus three degrees of toe in. The more toe in you have, the less rotation you're going to get in the corner, the more locked in the rear is going to feel. So if you want your rear to rotate more in the corner, you can use a little less rear toe to help that effect.
kind of a, a generalization, um, but I'm trying to I'm trying to make it as simple as possible. Um, so tow for the front and the rear of the vehicle is that adjustment that you'll make just to get your steering, you know, just right. 